All right. I've been asked about 10 trillion times on how I run my truck on waste vegetable oil. This is a old 1995 Zuzu NPR 3.9 liter turbo four-cylinder diesel truck. It's an old box truck. Runs great. Does everything I ask it for. Good truck. Good work truck. So here's what we got. My truck is an absolute nightmare because we've been working like crazy. So here's what we do. Let me get back here and show you what's up. All right, here I am back back in my truck. It is an absolute disaster. I had a line break. It blew oil all over the place. I've got oil everywhere. It's disgusting. But I'll give you a quick run through. Plug her in. It's pretty simple. I've been doing this for about 12 years now. Plug her in. Here's my storage tank. That's always vegetable oil inside there. This tank is, I think, 250. Here's my pump. That's the motor. This is the pump itself. So what it does is, this white line right here, this line that goes into the tank, this one is my suction line. This suction line is what I use to suck oil out of, like, these jugs here. Okay, so when I put the in the jug, flip the switch on, it sucks oil up through this line right here, comes across, goes through the pump, shows my pressure, goes out that line, around, back around, comes through this first filter here. This is a sediment filter. It's a fine mesh screen. It collects all the big crumblies and anything else in the filtration system. From there, it goes on to a 10 micron filter. And after that, it goes down this pipe here, which goes to a T. And there's a valve outside for filling my tank up on the truck. And then it also comes up here to this valve, which is greasy and gross. That goes back into the tank right there. I can control it with this valve here, opening and closing it. So it's going to get really, really loud here in a second. But what I'll do is I'll demonstrate how I pump oil. I'm just going to pump oil around right in my tank instead of out of my jugs. Because like this one here, if you notice, that's bad, bad, bad stuff on the bottom. That's probably water and God knows what else. But that on top, that's good oil. There's nothing wrong with that at all. That one there, about the same. Good oil on top. So you never want to suck oil all the way down to the bottom when you let your jugs settle. Just go all the way down about uh, whenever you're comfortable, half or three quarters of the way down, call it good. So it's going to get really, really loud, but I'm going to demonstrate how the oil comes through. You'll see it come through here. This is a valve here also. When this screen in here gets clogged up, I flush it. I open this valve, it goes down that pipe into an old jug that I have right here. It just blows by waste, and you'll see it flush out. So it's going to get loud, and I'm just going to kind of show what's up. And then I'll show you filling my truck up a little bit and starting the truck on waste vegetable oil. Now here soon, this whole tank system back here will be a heated tank that's heated off my truck. And I'll have a two-tank setup, so that means that my tank outside will have diesel fuel in it. I'll start the truck on that, let the truck warm up. It'll pump antifreeze through this tank, heating the oil through a, a secondary pipe system. Then I'll flip a switch and it'll pump oil directly from this to the motor, which will be all heated and everything, but I haven't had to do that. Like I guess I've been doing this for like 11 or 12 years. I haven't had to do it yet, so I don't know if I'm going to get to it or not. Probably will someday. Like winter time, the vegetable oil will gel up. I just mix it with diesel fuel, um, like a 20% mix, and uh, it seems to work fine for me. Everybody, everybody's going to have their own um, opinions and everything. I, don't, I guess every truck or everything's different. But what I would really like to do is, along with this filtration system, is to put a centrifuge on it. So after it gets done, it comes back out into here and it's good, clean oil. I would love to have it go through a centrifuge which would spin out any, any, any products of anything bad all the way down to any micro amount of water or any fine particles. So here we go. What's going to happen is it's going to suck up from here out of the tank. It's going to go through the filter, all the way around, through the sediment filter, through the 10 micron filter, and come back out right here and be pure, clean vegetable oil. 
Matter of fact, I'll probably even just take it out. I'll probably just do this jug here real quick just to demonstrate. Yeah, that one ain't bad. Looks fine. Now, this one has not been filtered yet. So, I'll just go ahead and do this one just to show you what's up. Till it's done. Okay. Now I'll start doing this jug here. It's been settling. I'm pouring it in there. Just check all the stuff. Back in there. There it goes again. Take off. Being filtered. See how dirty the filter is? Boom. Flushes it. Right into that old tank. Boom. Back to being good and clean. You get a little bit more on there? No big deal. Okay, so the tank's filtering. Doing its thing. It's all going to my tank and just circulating. Now, that being said, I'm going to go outside. I'm going to go outside. I'm going to leave this valve open because it's into the T over there. The other hose goes outside to my outside tank on the truck. So what I'll do is I'll go out there, take that hose out, stick it in the fuel tank outside. I can turn this on right now. Let it run, which I'm going to do that, and it'll just push it through here. Path of least resistance. So when I go outside and I get the fuel line or the fuel hose hooked up to the tank, when I open that valve, it'll take that path instead of this path back into the tank. So it'll go out there and it'll fill the fuel tank up on the truck. So when that tank gets full or where I want it to be, I can shut that valve off and then it'll bypass and it'll come back up into here. If it, didn't, if it wasn't set up that way, the pump itself would build up so much pressure it would blow a hose or it would blow something like it did like a long time ago and I had oil all over the place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crank it back up and go outside. Alright, alright, here I am outside of my tank. This is my other valve. The valve is closed. It goes all the way up. It goes into the truck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and take this off. Set it up here. Like so. What I do, everybody's got their own ways. I'm sure I'm going to get some flack somewhere from somebody saying, you can't do it that way or you're doing it wrong. I really don't care. It works for me. It's for 12 years, 11 years. It's worked fine. I dump a little oil out in case there's any dirt in there. And I, hold on a second, put it up here, into my tank, and crank her open. Now, all that oil is coming straight out and into here. That's being pumped up there. Yeah. That's clean, clear vegetable oil. And it's flowing extremely good. The colder it gets, the slower it flows. That's why I add diesel fuel or kerosene, 
even sometimes some gas, it doesn't hurt. Just gotta watch your mixtures. But it's flowing very, 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 very good. So I'm gonna fill this up and I'll start the truck and it'll run on vegetable oil. All right, I'm back. This is just about full of vegetable oil completely. It's really, really, really close. So there's vegetable oil going into my tank. I'm gonna shut this valve off. Now it's flowing back through the other hose that's going back in my tank. So I have to run in there and try and like hurry up and shut it off and be all worried about that. So now I'm gonna go inside. Before I shut my pump down, I'm going to flush this screen real quick. Clear it out. Good to go. I'll get that one here. Shut my pump off. Unplug my pump. This process is done. Now we go out and start the truck. Alright. So I got everything shut off, that valve shut off, I leave the other valve open so when I'm in there filtering the oil it'll circulate. So now I'm going to take this, lay it back in here where it just rests against my tank, up and out of the way. Now mind you, I've been doing this for a very long time, I used to make biodiesel, it became more of a hassle making biodiesel, going through tritation and methanol and Sodium hydroxide and all that fun stuff. So it's a mess, it's gooey, it's gross, but right now I just use waste vegetable oil. I had an old 7.3 Power Stroke IDI. I did it with it also, I ran it on vegetable oil. Bought my son a Power Stroke, a DI 7.3. It runs great on vegetable oil. So I bought another dually, or not another dually, another Power Stroke, and it runs great on vegetable oil. So here we go. Low plugger. It's kind of cold this morning, so it might take it a second to start. I got put probably about a half a tank in it. But there it is. Azusa is sitting here running perfectly fine on waste vegetable oil. And that's how it's done, kids. I got a Caterpillar diesel generator that runs on waste vegetable oil. We have two power strokes that run on vegetable oil. Anybody can do it. It smells like you're cooking french fries or walleye or chicken or something down the road. I call it the smell of free. And you get like no emissions at all. I mean, it don't blow any black smoke out, nothing. It just sits there and runs. Does its thing. Well, that's it. That's my truck on vegetable oil. Any questions? Shoot me a message.